Okay, well done. So this conversation class was for everybody, of course, but it was really relating to the first certificate work we've been covering on the upper group. So if you're not up on the upper group, intermediates and pre-intermediates, well done for trying this new vocabulary. Let's just go through it very quickly. If you were former, it means you were something in the past, like I was a former IT consultant, okay? Um, I really liked somebody using the word X. I was an X IT consultant. I really like that one. If you're well off, you're wealthy, you're rich. If you're courteous, you're considerate, kind, friendly, and polite. Arrogant, big headed. I love these other ones you came up with. Stuck up, a snob, bossy. Basically, they act like they are the best. Um, if you're accustomed to something, remember when you use accustomed, you needed to use to. It means you are familiar with, familiar with, accustomed to. We need to work on those little prepositions. And if you're familiar with something, it just means you're used to doing it because it's a routine, you do it all the time. Uh, chunks means pieces of, okay, got it? Tuna, good. Um, now, if you're struck by something, you're taken aback, which basically means you're amazed or surprised. It can also be negative, which means you're shocked by it as well. So remember, to be struck by something could have a positive or a negative feel to it. Subsequently means later. I'm doing this lesson and then subsequently I went home. Later I went home. It's a very formal word. Virtues are your qualities, things about your personality that are good. If something stands out, it's obvious. I loved it. Well done, Adil, for your, it was a no-brainer, which is what we did last term. You can see something really clearly. If you are keen, you are eager, enthusiastic to do something, really happy to do it. But if you're reluctant, it's the opposite. You really don't want to do something. And then we looked at an extreme, which is hate. Another word for hate is loathe. So if you like to wander around, this word had a little problem, I'd like to just talk to you about it. If you wander around, you walk around. But if you wonder about something with an O, it's actually pronounced with an U uh sound. Whereas the A here is pronounced what, like an O. Uh. So it's really tricky to get it. This is wander, which means to walk around. But this is wonder, which means to, anyone? If you wonder. Worry. No. You yes. Ah. Worry. <laughs> Gabriella, come and speak to me. To think about it. Thank you. <laughs> to think about something. Yeah, I wonder why, there was a lovely, do you remember when I did the wonder lesson? I wonder why the grass is green or why the wind is never seen. Do you remember the poem I did? No, I didn't have this one. Well, this is your first term, so... Yeah, but no, I, I read a poem out in class. Um, a red herring is there to confuse you, to mislead you, to trick you. Um, so we did that, and, and it is a very common idiom. There are a few extra words I did here. Clear-headed means, oh, I really like this, I changed it, somebody came up with this word. If you're clear-headed, you're intelligent and objective. People can really go to you because you, you, you're intelligent, so you're quite clever. And you're clear-headed, so you're not judgmental, you're quite objective. Um, if you're hot-headed, you're impatient and angry. You get angry really quickly. But remember, if you're red-headed, it just means you've got red hair. Um, now, the other take um, phrasal verbs, we had one which was taken aback. But here, if you take something back, you return it. I took that back to the shop last week, for example. I have taken it back to the shop already. Um, taken off or take off means to remove, usually to do with clothing, but can be other things. And it also means when a plane takes off, it leaves the ground, it departs. That's what you see in the airport, the departures. And finally, taken up or take up means to start. And it's usually related to hobbies. So I've recently taken up golf, or I've taken up drawing. It's all about hobbies you've started recently. Learn these words. They're going to come up in your upper intermediates, could be in your written exam. Everyone here, 
conversation exam at the end of the term. 